Hello, welcome back again. I hope you enjoyed that last lesson where we learned the blue scale and the hammer-ons and the pull-offs. And I really hope that you took the time to sit down and practice it thoroughly and, you know, to make sure that you're playing it nice and smoothly and that it flows. And if I could jump through the screen and come and check what you're doing, I really I can't. But there's two things I suggest you do, and one of them is to watch these videos several times and to make sure that you've totally understood everything I've asked you to do, or that you're practicing all these techniques correctly. And the other thing, if you've got any questions, you know, feel free to email us at V Guitar Lessons and we'll answer any of your questions as best we can. You know, I really want to provide a quality service for you. I really want you to understand this stuff and for you to become a, you know, incredible guitarist so you can go away and entertain people and, you know, make a brilliant career of it if that's what you want to do. So today, we're actually going to go back to the subject of chords. I know we did some lead guitar in the last lesson, but today I'm going to show you a different technique, and this technique is finger picking. So what that means is we're not going to use the plectrum today. We're going to use some chords that we've already learned. Um, for example, we're going to start with the D chord. Um, and in case you can't remember, you should know it, but in case not, you can use your first finger on the third string at fret 2. The middle finger on the first string at fret 2 and this third finger on the second string at fret 2. Now let me give you a quick demonstration of this finger picking. It goes like this. And you can see we can create a really nice effect by using our fingers instead of just strumming. Okay, so it's just another aspect of guitar that I want you to understand to make your playing more interesting. Um, and there's all sorts of things you can do by using your fingers to pl pluck the notes. For example, um, have a look at this little reggae piece. That's a groovy little piece, isn't it? And in fact, I wrote that myself. And if you want to learn that whole thing, you can go on to the website and look at the archive. And it's actually on there. It's a full-length video guitar lesson. I'll show you that entire thing. Uh, and it's actually just called Reggae. So you can go and find it for yourself. Okay, so now you've got this D chord. We're going to use our fingers to pluck these strings individually. So what I want you to do is to place your thumb on the fourth string, the first finger on the third string. And it's as if you're pinching those strings together like that. And then the middle finger is going to be on the second string and the third finger is going to be on the first string and the little finger is not doing anything, okay? Right, so they're perched on the strings, ready to pluck. So what I'm going to ask you to do is to pluck four, three, two, one, like this. Okay, now um, I just want to draw your attention back to the chord and to make sure that all these notes are sounding nice and clear. Make sure you're holding down with plenty of pressure. Make sure these fingers are arched up. Make sure the back of this finger is not accidentally touching the first string. You know, um, I expect you to know these things by now. So just have a go at plucking those strings again. Four, three, two, one. Okay, very good. Now, once you've done that, I want you to go back to the second string with the middle finger. And then the third string with the first finger. So if we join those notes on the end, it should sound like this. Okay, now what happens is you can repeat that over and over again and it joins together perfectly like this. and you can see that that sounds really nice. Now, I suggest you can change to different chords. Um, for example, if we went to the G chord, and of course you already know the G chord because we learned that in one of the previous segments, um, but just to refresh your memory, middle finger on the sixth string at fret three, first finger on the fifth string at fret two, and then third finger on the second string at fret three, little finger on the first string at fret three. Okay, you can pause the video if you just need to check that. Now, what's going to happen is the thumb is now going to pluck the sixth string because the thumb always plucks the root note of the chord. When we were on the D, the root note was the fourth string, but now we're on the G, the root note is the sixth string. Okay, I hope that makes sense. But these three fingers are still going to be on the same strings as before, the third string, second string and first string. So when we apply this picking pattern, it'll sound like this. Great. 
So what I suggest you do is to do that picking pattern twice on the D and then twice on the G. So it should sound like this. And then you can do it again. Okay, I think you get the idea. Now, I suggest you um, practice that with the other chords you know as well, like the E and the A. And if you go on the archive, there's a full-length video guitar lesson where I teach you a load more chords. Oh, I can't remember exactly. I think it's about ten more chords. And there's, there's various different ones. And that will really expand your ability to play lots of different interesting songs. So I really encourage you to go and have a look at that. I think it would be really beneficial for you. So, uh, we've come to the end of another one of our mini video guitar lessons so go and practice that finger picking practice it on all the chords um, and if you want to make up different combinations then by all means do that as well so enjoy yourself take it easy be patient be dedicated go and get on with it and I'll see you in a few days for the next segment in this e-course okay bye bye take care